Hello everyone, I am Roshan Bhatta and today in this tutorial I am going to mm, teach you the basics of AVR microcontroller. By basics I mean the basic input output in AVR microcontroller. So for today's um, tutorial I am going to use 8 mega 16. You might use uh, my mega 32 and mega 8 any microcontrollers. So let's start with the tutorial. Uh, by the way this is my first tutorial in YouTube, YouTube so I really don't know whether this is going to be useful for you guys or not so what I want is I want you guys to give me feedback uh, give me a comment uh, so that I can find if it's useful for you guys so that I can make more videos um, next time also you can suggest me the topic to make the tutorial on about now um, before starting with the coding in um, coding for the microcontroller let me give you a brief description about mega 16 so this one is uh, the 40 pin ic model this is a general ic uh, that i have designed in maya now in um, at mega 16 we have total of 40 pins out of which there are four ports each port contains uh, 8 bits that means each port have 8 pins over you can see uh, the red pins that uh, you can see over there is port A uh, on the opposite side the green pins over here is a port B uh, the blue one over here is port C and the last yellow one over here is port D uh, every ports uh, the pin of a port are aligned in the same same side but uh, you can see in the port D there are seven pins over here and then the last one pin is in the other side now other rest pins are uh, some of them are for crystal some of them are for ground and bcc all this uh, purpose and um, this uh, pin configurations you can even see in the data sheets and i'm not going to discuss more about um, this okay now this one is avr studio mm. um, in this tutorial i assume that you have already installed avr studio and win avr i'm not going to install that and show you so for you um, I am using AVR Studio 4 this doesn't mean that you can't use AVR Studio 5 or 6 if you have the latest versions um, of AVR Studio you can use them I'm using AVR Studio 4 because I'm used to it I have been using this for quite long so I did not want to change to version 6 okay so when you open your AVR Studio for the first time you see this space we can just click on the new project then we are going for AVRGC we are not doing in assembler we are doing in C so choose your oh, what do you say this choose your destination folder where you want to create the project let's say this is a test project next then AVR simulator then we are going for 8 mega 16 okay finish So over here uh, you have to write the course now first of all include abs sio.h then include utils delay.h okay int main while Now I'm not going to teach you about the basics of C over here because mm, if you are coming over here uh, for basics of microcontroller then you should have basic knowledge of C already. Now so let me start with the programming. Uh, first of all I'm going to teach you about data direction registers and port for input um, for output only. We are doing in this tutorial only the outputs. Now you can suppose we are going to use port A port A um, for um, our purpose right now so for this we have two registers that we can use uh, that is DDRA and DDRB sorry not DDRB port A now what is the use of DDRA and port A now DDRA is data direction register that means um, pins that the input output pins can be used for input purpose and also for output purpose 
now um, you have to define in ddra um, whether you want to use it as input or as output now suppose if i write ddra is equal to 0 v 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 there are 8 bits you know so ddra is equal to, i am setting all the bits high in the ddra register this means that i am i want all the pins of port a to be as output pins that means let me show you in a figure you can see these red pins over here i want all the pins over here to be output pin that means it can give 5 volt or 0 volt over it from these pins now by the way see over here 0 b means i am writing this in binary form if you want you could even write like this way d d r a for to z 255 this means same in binary and you could also write this in this way d d r a equal to 0 cross f f this is in now hexadecimal now i'm not going to teach you all these conversions over here you can learn that uh, and most probably i think you guys already know about this now suppose although we are not going with inputs um, i'm going to give you a little bit idea of where i'm going to put this in comment for some time ddra equal 0 b 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 now over here you can see the cursor over here mm, i think i really don't know whether it, this cursor can be visible with this software or not <laughs> anyway mm, uh, you you can see this uh, zero that i have selected this is pin number zero of port a now let me show you in figure which is the pin number zero you can see this one you can see if you can see the cursor then this one is p a zero whenever i say p a zero this is this pin okay then p a seven is this pin that means we can denote uh, this way all the pins of the microcontroller like if i want if i want to ident identify this pin then it's p a one uh, sorry this is p a two p a zero one p a two now similarly if i want to denote this pin this is port b i already told you about that and if i want to denote this pin this is p a seven zero one two three four five six seven all these things you can find in data sheet i'm not going to explain you more about this okay so now uh so is this see i'm not telling you anything about inputs right now we are just doing output now this tells the microcontroller that this line tells the microcontroller that um we are going to use all the pins of port a as output that means it can be give five volt or zero volt but we have not defined um, we have not ordered it whether to give five volt or zero volt okay so if i write now what does this line say this line say that give give zero volt from all port a pins okay this line gives zero volt from all port a pins that means all the these red pins if we see uh, the voltage uh, then we can find out all zero volts coming out from there now see over here let me write uh, let me give some delay ms 100 this line delays for 101 second this argument thousand this means it's taking in, in millisecond so thousand milliseconds is one second what I'm going to do over here is port A equal invert port A. See now invert sign and just inverts all the bits. Uh, first of all, you can see in this line all the bits are zero. And what I said by this line is that invert all the bits. All bits are zero. This means for the first loop when the, when the when we come for the first loop, then all zeros are inverted to one. Now in the second loop after it delays for one second all these ports port pins are already one by this line before from the previous loop 
now in this loop all this one becomes zero that means if you if you join if we join the anode of the lead to this pin and ground to the other pin of the lead then you can see that your lead glows um, your lead blinks with the delay of one millisecond now let's compile this build f7 made that here it's not utils it's actually util now it's giving us one warning but we are not going to uh, see about the warning it says that fcpu is not defined actually you have to define how much frequency you are going to use for this and this fcpu is used by our delay function so it uh, really don't know which um, at what frequency you are working on so we have to give this. so i'm going to tell that we are working on 8 megahertz okay so now if i compile it by the way we can compile this by pressing f7 in windows so it gives no warning of error now let's um i'm not going to show you this in a real hardware uh, rather i'm showing you the output in the proteus next uh, for in other tutorials when i'll be making i might show you this the real hardware but for now you have to just with this one what is the problem with this I thought I'll be making this uh, video for a few minutes only but I really don't know how many time has gone this is my first time I really don't know if about the time calculation how much time is going to be now see over here this PA0, PA1, I already explained about this all. This is the board. Um, see, in Proteus, it's in, uh, the pin configurations are not uh, written serially. Uh, all the ports are separated and they are in uh, Zumble. They are, they can be anywhere. So in the real, I see it's not this way. You can see it in the data sheet. Now, we have just made all the ports, uh, all the pins of this port to just blink that means it gives five volt zero volt five volt zero volt each one second uh, in the delay of one second now i'm going to put this one over here uh, let me uh, rotate this one rotate clockwise okay then i don't i'm going to put another one or rotate clockwise okay I'm just going to show you in the two leads you but um, the same thing you can do with all eight uh, eight pins and uh, check the output um, I'm going to connect the anode of this layer with uh, PA0 that is pin number 40 and the other lead with PA1 uh, that is pin number 39 now I'm going to ground these two pins that is cathode of both the diodes and I'm going to load the hex file into uh, this IC. Uh, where is that? I think it's in FPR defaults and hex uh, test the hex. Okay, so we have um, set the frequency to be 8 megahertz. So I select the 8 megahertz. Now we can press this play button to see the output. Now, note one thing uh, you can see this both the lead blinks in one second but uh, in simulator it might not be exact one second it might not run in the real time so you have to see it in the real hardware uh, to see the exact timing uh, you can see this I, I really don't know whether you can see let me zoom it up see over here we, uh, although I have connected only two leads over here but you can see the output by in this uh, small rectangles over here this <laughs> all this and um, this so that whether it's uh, five volt is coming out from there or not if you want you can connect other leads and see uh, the output from there okay uh, anything left no okay
okay this is uh, i think this much is enough for uh, this time and if you if you think you, this video is useful for you guys you can comment it in in my video mm, and uh, i can make um, other videos okay thank you very much for watching thank you